friends welcome back to my channel and welcome back to motivational cleaning video in today's video i have tons of laundry to do i think i have four or five loads of laundry as well as some spring cleaning in georgia at this time of year there's so much pollen on the ground and on our tables on our cars i'm gonna try my best and wipe the tables and get rid of some of the pollen that's been sitting there. I'm also going to take down all of the Easter decorations and put up our spring decorations. I'm going to vacuum, do some dishes, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary. If you like cleaning, motivational videos, decluttering, organizing, and I also do some restocking videos, this is definitely the channel for you. Feel free to press that subscribe button below. Also give this video a like. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend it with me and cleaning the house today. So with that being said, let's get started. It is about 5.30 in the morning. Ellie and Chuck are still sleeping. I really wanna get a head start on getting the kitchen area clean it's starting my day I'm gonna make myself a little cup of coffee get going because who doesn't love coffee first thing in the morning I want to start off by making Ellie breakfast and of course I have to pack her lunch and in the meantime I'm also going to wipe down the counters do some dishes as well as unload the dishes talk to me baby I've been waiting for This morning I am making chocolate chip pancakes with fresh raspberries for Ellie. Let's have some good vibes today. That was brought to her from her Easter bunny. Also some milk and she also likes the animals in the morning. I'm going to get her breakfast ready and then I will start unloading the dishes. When she comes out she always complains that it's too bright so I have to turn off the lights and kind of work in the dark which is fine. I guess she needs some time to get her eyes adjusted in the morning when she wakes up. Her breakfast is done. I packed most of her lunch and now I'm going to start on unloading the dishes and putting things up.
As you can see, I don't have that many dishes in the sink this morning, just the dishes that I used to cook Ellie's breakfast. I loaded them at night and this morning all I had to do was unload them. I have an empty sink all day. That's what I like. I really do enjoy an empty sink at night, waking up and just having to unload the dishes. I've got 30 minutes if you want to spill your mind. Give me all your reasons to wash it take I absolutely love my tiny straw cleaning brush. This thing right here has been so helpful because but I love it and it helps clean my straws so well. For some reason over the years we have just accumulated so many different types of water bottles in this house. With every water bottle comes a straw whether it's a Yeti, a Stanley, a Cheer water bottle, I've picked up water bottles or have gotten water bottles at tennis state tournaments. For some reason, there's just so many. I probably need to purge that particular cabinet in our house. I'm going to quickly clean up all the counters from the dust as well as food stains, spilt uh, drinks, things like that. Get these counters really nice and clean. I really feel like I'm making a lot of progress this morning as far as cleaning the kitchen. I just need to finish packing Ellie's lunch, get her water bottle ready. I'm going to quickly brush her hair, get all the tangles out. Soon we'll be leaving for school. I'll drop her off and then I will come back and finish cleaning the house. I really love these special moments with my little girl. It's really breaking my heart because she's getting older and soon enough she won't need for me to brush her hair, fix her lunch, drive her to school because she'll be old enough to do these things herself. I'm just trying to savor these moments with her. Before we leave, I'm going to do a little bit of laundry. We had a little extra time. I just wanted to fold a few towels. I was trying to be as productive as I can before we left the house and I just didn't want to waste any time. Ellie also has some clothes that she needs to pick up and put away. I try my best to give her age appropriate chores to do that she can handle without my help. It's just a way of us trying to do things together but also to help her be become more responsible. I think we have everything we need for Ellie and for myself. 
I am going to drop her off at school and head on over to my singles match. I love playing tennis. It is my therapy. I play tennis about five to seven days a week. It's my workout and it's just great exercise. Not to mention, I've met some of my very best friends through this amazing sport. It gets me outdoors, out in the sun, out exercising, and doing something healthy for the day. I am back home now. I want to work on the living room, vacuuming, dusting, dust mopping, actually, in getting the floors clean. I can feel a lot of dirt and debris when I walk around the house. I want to run the dust mop in the area, try and clean all that dirt off the floor. I'm in the laundry room. I have about four, maybe five loads of laundry to fold and put away. It is a lot. I let it build up because I really want to just sit down and conquer it all at one time so that I don't have to make multiple trips to this room, that room, this drawer. I really want to just knock it out all at one time. And honestly, uh, during the week, I saw the clothes build up. It was a little bit stressful. But I was also not motivated to fold all this clothes either. I had gotten a little bit lazy and um, was slacking for a few days. It's building up. I really need to get this done. I'm going to work on this and it's probably going to take me a little bit of time. But I feel like once it's done, I'm going to feel very accomplished. <music> When I am folding loads of laundry like this, it is so satisfying to see the piles of clothes slowly disappearing and then seeing them placed into neat and organized stacked clothes as well as hung clothes ready to be put back up in our drawers and closets. I love folding clothes. It's very 
peaceful to me and it also gives me time to think it also allows me to just have some time to myself it's actually one of the chores in the house that i enjoy doing When I'm folding laundry, I'm always organizing clothes into certain categories. I will place all of my casual clothes in one pile. I will put my workout leggings in another pile because those will all go in the same drawer. Ellie has her three baskets in our master bathroom closet. I will put her socks together, her undergarments together, and then put her sleeping outfits and casual clothes in a different pile. It just makes the process of putting away so much easier. I am almost done with folding all the laundry. The last thing I need to do is pair up all the socks and for some reason there's always a random socks where I cannot find the matching pair. It always happens but I know it will eventually show up. To the master closet because I need to put away all my undergarments as well as some of my casual clothes that I lounge in. I look at my closet and I know that it needs a lot of work. I need to take some time to declutter, get rid of things that I no longer use, color code my clothes, as well as try my best and get everything organized in the closet and this is definitely a project i'd like to tackle one day i'm going to find some time and get a plan together so that i can get this done but i told you so
Empty baskets, mission accomplished. I have checked this off on my to-do list. Now I can put everything back into the laundry room and know that I don't have to do laundry for a few more days. We are on day two. It is bright and early and beautiful outside. My goal for today is to take down all the Easter decorations, put out the spring decorations. I'd like to also work in the living room kitchen in the formal dining room area, get rid of any clutter, organize, vacuum. I feel a lot of dirt at the bottom of my feet on the floor, so I'd like to dust mop all those areas nice and clean. First, of course, I'm going to make my bed. In the background, out the windows, you are going to see some construction workers because the empty lot is now being built on and we're going to soon have some neighbors who are building a home right next to us. I'm excited about that. I'm not excited about all the construction noise I'm hearing, but it's just part of the process and it'll be okay. I'm already up so early anyway, so I don't know if it really matters or not. I'm really happy that the lot next to us will finally be built on and I hope that we gain some nice new neighbors. Who out there gets excited about their first cup of coffee in the morning? Give me a like. I almost run to my coffee maker every morning. I love coffee so much. It really just starts my day off right. I love the taste. I love the smell. I love everything about coffee. I want to take down all the Easter decoration and put out the spring decor. I'd like to dust off this foyer table. Make sure to clean all the dust that's been accumulating on it. Hands up, such a rush. I love having you here with me. To dream big is no sin. The sky has no limit, yeah, we're free. This town's too small for dreams like this. Don't wanna settle down, don't wanna miss out on adventures, things we haven't seen. Take my hand and follow me. I'm stepping outside in our back patio area and I'm gonna work on this patio dining table. When I lift this table runner, you're gonna see all the pollen that has accumulated. It is that time in Georgia, it is spring. There's always so much 
pollen on the ground, on the floors, on the cars, everywhere. As you can see, when I left this table runner, the layers of pollen that has accumulated. I am going to wipe this table down, get it nice and clean from all this pollen. There's something so satisfying about wiping the layers of pollen off of our patio dining table. best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools drift in the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless I am finished cleaning the back patio. I need to pack up all these Easter decorations. This will be the designated Easter decoration container. And once I am done filling it up with all of the decorations, I will label it and place it in storage in our attic. I'm moving on to the breakfast area. I'm gonna pick up the table runner and all the de Easter decorations, as well as wipe down this table and clean the space around this area. I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now I wanna push all the limits with you right now So watch your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now People talk and tell what you wanna hear now But they all disappear, they will let you down so We better stick together, let's come whatever when I'm coming home tonight in the wild, gotta get it right now We only need the two of us together I need only you in this crazy world Cause we got love, love I need only you here with me I don't vacuum this rug every single day But I do try and get to it once every week or every other week, food will fall on the floor. We don't eat much at this table, but on Friday nights, we do get together and sit down as a family, have dinner together. Chuck eats a lot at this table and does a lot of work at this table. Ellie and I will normally sit at the island counter and eat there because most of the time she's doing schoolwork. 
stuff on her iPad for school. This area can easily be neglected because we don't use it often. I do try to clean and vacuum this area at least once or every other week. I picked up all the decorative Easter towels. Now I am getting the spring decorative hand towels ready to put out. I am going to clean our island and pick everything up, wipe it down really well because we eat a lot in this area. There's always food and spilt drinks and you can just see how dirty it can be or at least I can see how dirty it is. Chuck also works in this area. I'm gonna pick everything up, wipe it down really well and get it nice and cleaned. Have that many dishes in the sink just the ones from making breakfast this morning i'm going to load the dishwasher i need to take out the trash clear the counters so i can wipe them down really thoroughly
am so guilty of forgetting to eat sometimes when I'm cleaning. I'll go four hours of cleaning without having a bite to eat, and that's actually really bad. I'll start to feel a little jittery. So I'm going to stop real quick and eat a little snack and fuel up before I finish cleaning the kitchen. Reboot, I'm cold my service automated Like data running through my veins Got you distracted, subconscious overloaded Careful, don't pull the cord on me We don't normally put a lot of appliances and decorative things on our counters, but I do love a decorative hand towel in the kitchen. I think it gives it a little bit of color and it gives it a little bit of a pop. It's the one decorative item that I normally have out all year long, but it just changes with the holidays and with the season. the dust mop over the wooden floors every other day and I will alternate rooms that I dust mop I can feel the dirt debris hair accumulating on the floor and it just feels dirty and as you can see right here there's food there's hair there's dirt there's just random things that fall on the floor as we enter and exit the house. Sometimes we're able to take off our shoes and sometimes we run in real quick. We drag things in from outside. So I do love running the dust mop on the floor to make sure that I pick things up and it just feels so much cleaner once I do that.
I'm done in the living room. Now I'm going to shift my focus over to the formal dining room area. Pick up all the Easter decoration, these random boxes. I'd like to vacuum and clean the table as well as dust mop in this area and get it nice and cleaned. I'm finished cleaning in the formal dining room. I'm going to put up the vacuum cleaner, put away the boxes with the Easter decorations upstairs in the attic. Let me give you a final view of how everything looks. Well, that is it for today's video i want to thank you all so much for tuning in and watching and whatever life challenges comes your way i know that you can handle it you can overcome it everything will be okay and you will be okay until next time have a wonderful week and i will see you on my next cleaning motivation video